guys, we are going out to do errands. I didn't vlog in the house and I meant There's Ash. Hi, Ash. Pete's at work. He had to go into... He's the only one in the studio. The other guys are out on vacation, so... They're still sitting. Oh, they're just coming now. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Um, so we're going out to get some errands done and I need a shirt for Thursday. Pete's father's... We're not calling it a service. I'll explain later because I really don't... It's just... It's not a... It, yeah, I'll talk about it later, but anyway, it's Thursday, so I need a shirt to go with my black trousers. Ash, I don't know if you need anything, she's thinking about it. Um, I want to look at DSW for shoes. For shoes. I, need them. I want to look, yeah, I'll look there too for flats. Nice thing, like, her shoes or small boots or, something, or short boots for work or something. Yeah. So, we decided to come out now, and then we have to go through all our photographs, which... We like doing anyway, don't we? Yeah. And find some pictures because we're going to go over to Pete's mum's tonight, meet up with everybody, and make up some boards with all our pictures and his pictures and family pictures. It's 84 and very warm. We could have if the truck wasn't going so slow. <laughs> but yes, so that's where we're at, guys. And we just want to, I would rather tell you on camera with my face on it, but. I feel terrible in the car. Uh, we just want to thank everybody for all your comments. We're getting them all over the place and we just really appreciate your support. Pete said he keeps seeing them coming in, but while he's at work, he doesn't want to read them because he doesn't want anyone to walk in if he gets upset. It's hit him pretty hard, obviously. And um, well, it's, it's all hard, but he's alone today and I don't like that he's alone. He would have been off. Okay guys, I was trying to show you the other day but all the cars, it's not going to be easy to show you now either, but there all the kids from school and friends have been leaving candles for Chris. It's nice that they've left it there for now. I know soon they're probably going to take it up. Alright guys, we are on the way over to do pictures for Thursday. Ashley went through our many, many albums and picked out about 30, right Ash? Yeah. If not more pictures. Look at Ashley's hair, she's really mermaidy today because it's all curly. Paige French braided it yesterday while it was wet. Probably gonna have her do it again. <laughs> you should have her do it for Thursday. That way you won't have to worry. But they did say after today it wasn't supposed to be as humid. Oh, that's good. I think tomorrow night some areas could get down into the 50s, they said. Going through pictures. Get out! Wonder when we quarter past eleven. We just got back from Pete's mum's. We were uh, we took the pictures that Ashley picked for the boards for Thursday, and then Paulette brought hers over. Dodie's going to go through hers, and then we went through. My mother-in-law has about 30, 40 uh, albums, and she numbers the pages, she puts an index in on who's on what page and dates them, which is fantastic. So we were just going through all those and picking out pictures and then Wednesday night we'll all sit together and make up little storyboards. Pete's dad was with the Westchester County Sheriff's Department for a while. It's amazing how word gets around because one of the women that worked there got hold of my sister-in-law, who my sister-in-law knows and says they've all been talking about him they're actually, when he's not, he's going to be cremated. He's going to be cremated before Thursday. And um, they're just calling this like a memorial. It's not a viewing or anything. It's not a wake. It's just a memorial, like, um, yeah, a memorial from 4 to 8 on Thursday. And the urn will be there. And then we're going to put up all the picture boards. And some county sheriffs are coming and they're going to do change like I, I relate it to change another guard but they're going to have two people either side it's going to be so emotional two people either side of the urn and then they're going to have they're going to change over regularly but words getting around one of my friends I hadn't spoken to in ages she just texted me she's not on any social media I think my friend Jane got hold of her and she texted to ask us for details so hopefully we'll see her Thursday and I did put it on my Facebook where it's going to be and the time and everything. 
but um, there's not going to be like a church service or anything. My mother-in-law and father-in-law discussed that and they don't want that. He wants his ashes. Um, they have a cabin in Maine. They've been going to Maine since the ki their kids were little. And they used to rent up there and then they bought a cabin. I know a lot of you know that they bought a cabin um, that everyone goes up to. They, they used to go up for the whole summer because my mother-in-law worked in a school so she was off all summer. And um, he wants his ashes sprinkled on the lake in front of his cabin so at some point they want all of us to go up there to do that uh, it won't be in the near near future but um, yeah so tomorrow we're going to go up to my sister-in-law's and brother-in-law's for a barbecue very just just us quiet barbecue and um, they have a pool up there and they're they're on like um it's a condo. Condos? I think it's condo. Not townhouse. Or is it townhouses? I don't know, but there's a big pool and a like a area that you can go swimming if you want. Anyway, Pete's coming up now. Well, she um, just want to thank everybody again. Um, Pete put a note on his Facebook. We're getting so many um, comments and um, nice messages and we we've, we've all been reading each other's and we appreciate it so much so we just want to thank you guys you guys have drunk it dry well, louis drunk it dry and now Ash, roxy hasn't <laughs> she hasn't had any roxy hasn't had any all right guys you guys got very chaotic in here for a minute so now lou's gonna start again he was perfectly fine um i can't love and leave you for this evening we hope everybody had a brilliant brilliant Monday, whatever you guys did today, we hope it was a good one and we will definitely see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. <laughs>